Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for joining me again for another Timu haul. Temu, Timu, the Moo, uh, however you want to say it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and leaving me comments. I really appreciate it. Um, okay, so let's just get right into this and see what I got. Um, always get some good bargains on Timu. I love shopping on Timu, so... Hopefully there's something in here that you might like. If there is, check my pinned comment below. I will leave a link to my cart so that you can maybe purchase some of these items. Now, I did write down the prices, but as we know, Timu kind of changes up their prices quite often, so I can't guarantee that you can get it at the price that I got it at, but it's worth a shot, right? So let's see what kind of finds I have in this bag here. Okay, first up, I feel like I might have bought two sets of these, but they are like dish towels or hand towels for your kitchen um, or decorative towels for your kitchen. So I think there's two towels in here for $6.49. Now, the one thing I'm not super crazy about with Timu's towels in particular is the feeling of them. Um, they're like a microfiber type of feel, and I would rather have cotton towels. Um, I don't know, that's just totally personal preference, but I really like these, um, because they reminded me of, like, uh, like a vintage kind of old school vibe, kind of French country vibe, so there's one that's like this beige, and this is what it says on the front, and then there's, actually, there's three here, so there's three in this set, and they all have, like, this, like, grain sack kind of stripe to them, and then this is the second towel so it looks like this and then the third towel in the set which i think is probably my favorite has this beige grain sack stripe down the center and it actually says grains on it at the top i think right yeah grains sack day number seven they're obviously in french but very very french country so love them and i love the colors because my bathroom is like a tan so I'm, i think i'm gonna put those in my bathroom okay the next thing i got was this lanolin nourishing cream um so yeah not sure how this is gonna work out but we'll see um it was 408 um fast bright formula cosmetic that's what it says on the box. So let's see. Oh, wait. You know what? <laughs> you guys, I legit thought this was a face cream. I'm so glad now that I'm looking at the box. I'm glad I didn't use it on my face because it's actually for a car. So, yeah. Yeah, a little blonde moment there. So this is... <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, what, what would I do without you? I know you were sitting there going, that's not for your face, Jen. Because so I looked at this, I'm like, why is... No... This is for a car. If you can hear Kermit, he is over here digging in. He's in the back of the, he's into the boxes. He loves getting in boxes. Oh my gosh, he is so funny. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I definitely wouldn't have put this on my face if I saw it because the color, it kind of stinks too. Like I definitely wouldn't have put this on my face. Okay, so yeah, definitely wouldn't have put that. But anyways, it's supposed to like make your interior kind of like shiny again and or re-nourish it, but I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't put this on my interior because I don't have anything black in my interior. I would put it around like the black um I have like black trim on my on my car, my SUV, so I would put it on there to see if it would like help that area, but yeah, definitely not for your face. We learned a lesson there. So yeah, I guess you just, so yeah, I don't know. I would try that out. And um, I will let you guys know about that because I'm probably going to do some stuff with my vehicle tomorrow. It needs a little bit of cleaning out. So maybe we'll try it and I will do like a before and after on shorts. Let's do that. Okay, next up is this rosemary hair oil. I keep getting these. This was $158. Um, now the last one that I got, I had opened it and it didn't really smell like anything. So they give you the dropper. Um, so let's see if this one, again, this one looks like that serum-y type more than oil. Like I can see the bubbles in it. You guys tell me if you've bought this off of Timu, you know, do you think it's even real? Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm this one smells more med medicine-y, medicinal than the last one, but 
I'm not getting rosemary at all, which I'm like, I mean, I know rosemary when I smell it. And so it worries me that there's not really rosemary in here. I'm not real sure. I mean, now it says on the bag that the um, ingredients are sesame seed oil, panthetic, whatever, acid, copper, tripeptide. I don't even see... I don't even see any rosemary, the word for rosemary on here, so I don't know if that's like kind of deceiving or not. I don't know. Let me know if you guys have bought this. This is the second bottle I've gotten, and I don't know. It's more like serum -y, so it's really hard to tell. I'm not sure about that. Like, I feel like it should say, if it's rosemary, it should say on here, rosemary oil. You know what I mean? Am I wrong? Am I wrong here? It doesn't say rosemary oil anywhere in the ingredients. I don't know. I mean, maybe I'm wrong. I maybe I don't know my oils, but let me know if it says rosemary oil. Do you not think it should have rosemary oil in it? Or okay, next up is a derma roller system. <laughs> I used to derma roll my skin like years ago, and I stopped doing it. And I wish I never would have stopped because I feel like you know I probably would have less wrinkles if I had kept at this. So if you've never derma rolled your skin before, it's like micro needling. It's um sort of. <laughs> You, it's actually needles that go into your skin and they kind of puncture your skin to create it to have more um, collagen, like the collagen will form again. But you have to do it pretty consistently for it to work. So this this derma roller was $6.48. The other thing that's kind of important with these is you need to make sure that these are actually needles in here and that they are um, stainless. I can't remember if you're supposed to look for stainless steel or titanium, but that's that either one of those would not be bad but yeah I like that it's packaged up in that so let's and then you get it yeah you get it comes like this in this container um, and it's got a seal on it so you know but this says 0.25 millimeters that's a good starting area for derma rolling um, you can go up to 0.50 then 0.75 one is almost a little bit too much for the skin but I'm sure some people probably get to that point but these are very, very tiny. And you also have to, um, you know, sanitize this after you use it every time. And you guys are not going to be able to see the needles because they're so tiny. But that's what it looks like. It's a 0.25 derma roller. Um, really nice. It looks really nice quality. And it looks like the needles are actually individual needles. So that, that means it's a good quality one. Sometimes they will put like a wheel of needles with just spikes on the end. And, and that those just usually aren't very good for you. So this one looks pretty good. Um, so yeah, we will maybe start doing some micro needling. If anybody wants me to do like a video on like how you do that or whatever, let me know. Um, I, I don't want to, it's so weird because I don't know whether to put, what kind of content to put up sometimes, but, you know, I don't know. But anyways, maybe I'll start another channel for like skincare and wigs and stuff like that. But yeah, six forty eight for that. I think that's a good deal because the really good, um, derma rollers, they can be like really expensive. So, oh, and here I got another one. So this one was three sixty five. Um, let me see if it says what... Okay, this is another silver one in 0.25. Okay, this one I think I bought for my lip area. Um, they have smaller ones that you can use on your lips. And I'm not going to open this package just because it is needles. And they don't give you like... I don't want to put it back in here. I might have to get another um, container like this plastic one. But you get this part, which is the handle of the derma roller. And then they give you... The head of the derma roller which is like you know if you can see it it's really tiny and there's really tiny needles in there and it's only about this wide so when you use it on your um, mouth area uh, you know it's small enough to get in the corners or here or down here or right here um, it's it's good to get in those areas so this is where I need some help right now I mean hey I'm 51 I just turned 51 yes so yeah we're 51 years old right now <laughs> I've gone over the century, so that's so strange to say, but yeah. But, um, you know, I would like to 
I was actually, I talked to a esthetician who said, oh, you could get cheek fillers and it would plump this up. I really don't want to go that route. I would rather not do that. Nothing against fillers at all. I, believe me, I would, I just don't want to. But so I thought I'd try derma rolling for like a few months, maybe up to a year and see if it makes any kind of difference. And if it does, then, you know, good for me. So, but 365 for this one, but yeah, it's, it's for smaller areas, even like maybe up here by your eyes. You don't ever want to do under, right under your eyes. Never put a derma roller there, but you can do it across your lips too and have your lips plump up. So we are going to try that. Okay. It looks like I have a couple of these. Uh, these are like top curtain tie backs. I thought they were just really kind of boho and kind of cool and simple which i love that so they were 416 each and i think these came in another color as well but you know the cats when they sit up in the window like i have a cat tree i want to be able to pull back my curtains and right now they're just kind of like not pulled back but you get this loop and then this goes like right here and you put the curtain you know through here and then this shows on the curtain but i just thought i just thought they were kind of cool you know like Really kind of boho, like nautical type of theme going on there. But yeah, 416 for these. And I got two of them. So, and like I said, I think, I feel like they had these in white. Or maybe like a darker color. I can't remember. But 416, I thought they would look kind of cool and rustic. But you know, if you wanted to, you could always paint these or dye them a different color. Maybe like blue or red or, you know, really whatever. Like get, just get some writ dye and dye them because the rope should dye. It looks like it's... Almost like yarn and then like a uh, jute in the center. So you could probably dye them any color you wanted, really. Okay, next let's just go here. Oh, look what I bought. A derma roller case, which was probably for this. So this is literally just a derma roller case. It's $1.98. Um, that's probably why I bought it. I think I bought several derma rollers just to have to, to try them. So again, this is just an empty plastic case to keep your derma roller in so it can stay sanitary and you know after you cleanse it and sanitize it you can put it back in here so i'm glad i got one of those i see another derma roller this must have been the derma roller heaven i have a couple of them so let's try and get through a couple of those and just get them out of the way so here's another lip derma roller this one was only a dollar 79 so I wonder if it's the same as that one pretty much. Let's see. I might have gotten it in a different size. No, this one's 0.25 as well, but it's a whole like unit. And so that it, it's packaged like, you know, so it's like sealed, but oh, let's unseal it. Heck with it. Let's just do it. I'm going to show you what it looks like because, you know, it's mine. So, you know, but anyways, it comes in this little container like this. And then you take the top off, and there's the derma roller. And then I don't know what this is for. It might... There's a there's a button on the bottom. Oh, you know what it's for? You can fill this with serum, I think. I'm almost positive. Well, I'm going to end up hurting myself. But I think you can fill this with serum, and then you pump it as you micro microderma roll or derma roll your skin. But I don't know how to get it out of here. And I don't want to... I might have Brian do that. Maybe it just pulls out. I don't know. But either way, I'll figure that out. But yeah, that's what it looks like. But it definitely looks like it, you could. it's for serum. So you can load it with serum. You can even use these on your scalp. That's why I kind of wanted the rosemary oil to, to like be a thing. Like maybe I'll use castor oil and do this like through my scalp and maybe try and get some hair growth going. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that one. Another small one, $1.79 for that one. And then here's another derma roller in 0.25 for $5.39. I went with the smaller size because when you first start, you want to go with the smaller sizes so you don't really, really tear your skin and do any damage to it. All right. And they always seal these, which is nice. Um, so, yeah, this one was $5.39. It's a big, big mamma jamma. You just pull this out. I hate the, I'm hoping I don't hurt myself or the weight. No. Oh, there it goes. I don't want to ruin the needles so that's what it looks like i don't know if you guys can like see the needles or not because they're like kind of tiny but yeah they are very tiny and it's actually got some like indents on it as well so if you you know it's a massager and then it's gonna this is gonna do a very large amount of space <laughs> you could probably even derma roll your arms or legs with this because it's that big but one thing about derma rolling you want to do is 
whenever you do derma rolling, you never do this and then this. You want to go down, lift it up. Go down, lift it up. Or, you know, you always lift away from your skin after each, like, swoop, lift away. Swoop, lift away. Swoop, lift away. Because if you don't, you have a, it, you could t t potentially rip your skin. So, but they're, believe, I'm not a master or a pro with this. So, there's many other YouTube channels out there. I'm sorry, let me put my glasses back on so I can see what I'm doing here. Um, who, you know, are derma roll experts, <laughs> per se. And they know way more than I do about it. So, yeah, if you just look up derma rolling on YouTube, you'll find several. There's one girl, and I can't think of her name. She's got blonde hair and real pretty blue eyes. Oh, I can't remember her name right now, but she actually makes her own derma rollers, and they're way more expensive than this. And I'm sure they're way more better quality, but this one was $5.39, so there's that. And then I got a pair of these um, earbuds, and these were free. So I think I might have got these from a uh like either a timu circle thing or you know who knows i mean i don't know i never know but i have several pairs of these and i love them so much it comes like this you get the little case they come in and then you get the earbuds and they go in the case like so and then it'll show you how much they're charged so these are like charged at 90 percent, and then they give you the cord to recharge them but yeah i love these i use them all the time and wow it's blue lighting up blue now oh it's changing color is it i swear it was yeah i don't know why i was doing that but anyway so yeah i love these i have several pairs i have a pair at work I have, i'm gonna try and hook these to my computer so i don't have to use like wired earbuds anymore so yeah, I love these. Highly recommend these kinds of earbuds. Like, they're great and they last forever. And I've never had a problem pairing them with anything. So, okay, here's a, a yet another derma roller. <laughs> I got this one free, though. So, maybe this was one of those bags where you buy $40 worth of stuff and you get, like, two or three free items or four. Th I've done that before, too. That's probably what happened with this order, so... Oh, okay. This is the same. No, it's not the same as the other one. It's very close to it. Let's see what size this one is. It's also 0.25. I must have got them all in like a 0.25, which is good. This one's a little bit smaller than the last one I showed. It might be exactly the same as that first one. Is it? Yeah, I think it is actually. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing. So I'm not even going to take this one out of the case. It's literally the exact same as the first one I showed you. So I got it for free. So that's like a $5 gift for free. So that's nice. So we'll put that one over there. I didn't want to open it because then I can save it for like, you know, use in the future without it being unsealed, I guess is what I want to say. Okay. I saw... I think I saw Crazy Mimi Yup get this either in friend mail or a swap or, and I think I might have got one for Tammy Nautillet as well, but I got this free too, and I had to have it because of that, because of the bougie of it, and this is a nice brush, this is a really nice brush, but look at that, like, holy moly spicoli, OMG. It's totally not doing it justice on camera at all. But the, the bristles are really nice. Um, it looks like they're a little bit... I need to, like, pull them out. You know what I mean? They're a little bit jacked up, but I can fix that. Or maybe they need to go in. No, I don't know. No, they need to come out. Yeah, the bristles are a little bit crushed from the travel here, but how cool is that? Oh my gosh, I love that. So I got that for free, so I love that. Let's put that over there. And then let's see what's in here. This is this was six seventy two, six dollars and seventy two cents. It feels like maybe some kind of sign. So mm, I'm never usually impressed with their signs, but you know, hey, we'll 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 give anything a try once. And we always like to judge things up too. You get something that needs a little extra greenery, just buy a little extra greenery. And what is this? Oh, a piece of wood. Awesome. Oh, you guys, it's six seventy two. I think it's literally just a. What do I a stand? What do I want to call this? Dang it. There's a word for this. I can't think of it right now. But anyways, these legs. You can paint these too. Now, it's looking a little orange. So I would put 
some type of a sealer on it before you paint it because the orange will just seep right through. But yeah, I don't know why I bought this. This color is definitely not me. I never go for this like orangey color, but you know, I could always paint it. I, I love to paint things. I, I used to like redo furniture and all kinds of different things. I used to go to the thrift store and buy things to thrift and, and repurpose and sell. So, you know, I'm into that. So six seventy two for this. I don't know. I mean, I would definitely change the color on it, but it's just whoops, almost dropped it. It's got three legs on it, and it's just a wood platform. That's not the word I want to use, but I can't think of what I want to call this. So I'm having a menopause brain moment. But six seventy two for this. It's okay. I mean, it's not the best thing in the world. So oh no, I pr please tell me I didn't buy two of these. This one's white, so at least it's white. There's that. I like to put candles on top of these or, you know, stuff like that. So here's the white one. These are really nice with candles on them or some kind of, you know, uh, table centerpiece or a tree. If you have a small Christmas tree that you put out at Christmas time and you need a, like a little base to like sit it up on. I don't know why. It just makes things look better to me. Like if, if I have it sitting on a base. Actually, I have a jack-o'-lantern upstairs that has uh, a candle underneath it that's from Pink Zebra. It's a terracotta pumpkin. And that would look really cute on this. So if this fits up there with that, I might put that terracotta pumpkin on this one. Or actually, he might look better on that orange one to be quite honest with you. But I love to use these um, for putting candles and on and stuff like that and um I just think it just makes them look really nice like set a little birdhouse on here or some candles or gosh anything really your salt and pepper shakers your butter dish you know your napkins like everything you'd put on your table it just looks more finished but yeah 672 for these I like the white one better that's just my personal preference only but yeah they're not bad i mean you know got a little wood grain distressing going on there so 672 for that and then i got some zip ties can't remember what i bought these for but they were a dollar 98 and you get how many they're 14 inches you get 20 pieces you guys know what zip ties look like so i'm not gonna like take them out i mean you know it's a zip tie can't remember why i bought them though but i'm sure i'll use them we use them all the time around here Okay, I literally think I bought this in my last haul. I know I did. They're like a set of nails. 208 for these. I know it might not have been my last haul, but it was definitely a recent one. Um, really pretty black cat eye nails. Uh, really love the cat eye look. Um, these aren't really cat eye. They're holographic, but they're Timu nails. And I, I really don't wear anything but Timu nails at this point, to be quite honest with you. Um, but yeah, really pretty black cat eye nails. Love those getting into the fall spooky season so we like to go with the darker colors for our nails except for me look at me wearing a light pink what am i talking about all right then i got this <laughs> i saw us who'd i see get this i think favorites with laura got one of these i'm almost positive it was so funny when she held it up i swear it was her if, if it wasn't i apologize but i I swear she has one of these because I saw her like hold it up and I was like, oh my gosh, I literally have one of those on the way. This was $7.91. If it wasn't her, then sorry, Laura, I, I apologize, but I watched so many videos. I never knew, know who does what anymore. So it's like a wall. <laughs> you put it on your wall. Okay. It's a big paper clip type of thing and it goes on the wall and you can like put stuff down here, like a hand towel or I don't know. There's like a hole right there so I don't know maybe you could put something around there but I thought this was so stinging cute I was gonna put it in the bathroom and then put like hang hang like a towel off of it or something it's just a big huge paper clip or clothesline clip I guess I should say not paper clip but how cool is that I love that I think they had this in different colors too but $7.91 I thought it was so stinking cute to have maybe I'll put it down by my washer and dryer and put socks in the clip when I go miss when I'm missing some socks. So yeah, I thought that was just really stinking cute for $7.91. Okay, then I got these placemats. And maybe I bought these before too. I don't know. But they were $6.29. Um, I'm gonna be redoing the top of my table soon, and I think I'm gonna film that for you guys because I'm gonna redo it with all Timu stuff. 
um, because my the, the tabletop I have is actually, the, well, my table and chairs is from a thrift store. I paid 50 bucks for it, and that sucker looked brand new, and it's very farmhouse, and I painted it a couple times. But I love these placemats. They're like a burlap with like this French country. Well, probably probably be nice if I put it the right direction, wouldn't it? They're like a French country type of feel. They all, they're all the same. Um, so you get four of them. And what, how much did I say these were? I don't even remember. Six twenty nine. Yeah, six twenty nine for these. They're nice. They just need maybe like ironed out a little bit, but I think they're really cute. I really like them, and they match kind of with those towels I just got. So again, with the towels, I got two towels, <laughs> and these have bees on them. They're the same, so I'll show you the one. They're three eighty seven a piece. I wasn't real happy with these because the print on them isn't very clear, and I know that some of you guys are like, well, maybe it's supposed to look rustic. Well, yeah, maybe it is, but I feel like I should at least know what the heck it is, you know what I mean? So this is what they look like. They've got this black, um, like a tapestry type of feel to them, and then there's two bees on them. So, I don't know, I thought they were cute, so I got two of them. But, like, the bee doesn't look very well um, done, I guess I should say. I don't know. I mean, they're not horrible. I know it's a bee, you know. But, I don't know. Either way, I got two of them, so I thought they were kind of cute. That's it for that bag. Two more items. Okay. I saw this a couple times on Timu, and I'm like, I gotta try that. It's a whipped tallow balm, and it was $3.65. Um, I know that tallow is really, really good for your skin. Um, you know, actually it's good, good to eat too, to be honest. It's good for you, but I kind of wanted to see what this smells like and stuff. 100% grass fed, it says. Now, whether that's true or not, I do not know. Let me get this off here. Um, but it says nourishing face and body cream, herb infused, whipped tallow balm. It's one ounce. Um, it says it's tallow, olive oil, calendula extract, rose extract, and essential oils. So, I don't know. I mean, it's, it's spouting that it's 100% grass-fed. Uh, it's like got this little seal right here. Let's put some on my hand. It's definitely a very thick cream. Oh, it's very thick. Very, very thick cream, for sure. My hands are probably like, ah, oh, you know? It doesn't have much of a smell to it, though, at all. Like, I thought it was going to smell like rose and all kinds of things, but no. And it's actually sinking into my skin. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, it looks pretty nourishing. So, yeah. I don't know. I'll try it. I could try it on my... My elbows get really dry. Um, and so do my, just my skin in general, honestly. I'm mean, a 50-year-old skin, so... Oops, just dropped the lid. That's okay. I'll get that later. But yeah, it is a little bit greasy, but I'm thinking, you know, once it settles in, it might not be too bad. So yeah, we will try it out and see how that goes. But 365, that's not bad if it's like 100% like grass-fed actual tallow balm. That seems like a pretty good deal to me. Okay, last but certainly not least, probably the cheapest item in this haul. It was 97 cents. 97 cents. That's a Timu bargain for sure. What could possibly be in here for 97 cents? Ta-da! What could it possibly be? Get your mind out of the gutter. It's not that. It is a volcanic rock uh, that you, you know, you run it along your skin. And it's supposed to, like, pick up the oils. So I don't know how oily I am right now, but let's try this. Oh, I have some, like, glistening going on over here. So let me look at my mirror. And hopefully I won't. So you're supposed to take this and just, like, run it along your skin. And it's supposed to pick up the oils. So I think it's working. Do I look less shiny? I don't know what I've been using on my skin, but it's causing me to break out. I don't, I'm not sure what I've been using lately. I have to pay attention to that. I think it works. I think it works. So I thought this was kind of cool just like having my bag, like if I start looking a little sweaty teddy at work or something. A little sweaty teddy moment, a little glistening pig moment. Just run that over my skin, look a little bit fresher, a little bit more unsweaty. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying. I don't know. 
I mean, I like to glisten a little bit, but sometimes throughout the day, especially like right here when I wear glasses, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so oily right there, you know? So yeah, that's what it's like a little, supposedly it's a little volcanic rock. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. On a scale of one to 10, how true do you think that is? <laughs> Doesn't say that. No, it just says white. I think this came in different colored, but anywho, that was my haul for today. I hope you enjoyed it if you want any of these items they will be linked go to the comment section i will pin a comment to the top that will take you to my cart if the item is not in my cart that means it's been discontinued or out of stock or whatever so if it's not there you probably can't even buy it um i usually link to um australia's too but sometimes you guys just don't have the same stuff we do so i don't know if i'm going to continue to do that or not but i'll try to and i tried doing it with other countries but there's some countries they won't even allow me to link to like germany i tried germany and like the uk and they i don't even remember what all what all i tried but like it, it even says it's like you cannot blah, blah, blah. i'm like oh all right i don't know i don't know why but i tried <laughs> all right guys thank you so so much for watching please leave me a like and a comment and subscribe if you like this kind of content and i will see you in the next one bye